In today's video, we are going to be talking about overbooked flight compensation. This video is going to explore useful tips that will help you save costly changes, unexpected expenses, and more. So make sure you stick around for that. One of the worst airline practices is overbooking and EC-261 strives to curb that behavior by holding airlines accountable. They face strict penalties when you face involuntarily denied boarding. What does overbooking mean? Overbooking is when the airline sells more tickets than there are seats on a given flight. They take a gamble hoping that some passengers won't show up to their flight or that they will cancel at the last minute. If this happens, then you never know that you were in the bubble. It only becomes a problem if they miscalculated and everyone showed up. What does denied boarding mean? Denied boarding means that you are not able to get on the plane despite having a ticket, and there are two different types, involuntary and voluntary. You have your ticket. You paid in full and even had a confirmation number. Maybe you even had a seat number. However, you're still not able to get on the plane you are being denied boarding. What compensation can I get? The compensation you get for your flight depends on the circumstances of your denied boarding and where you are flying. The rates vary in the EU and the US, so it's important to understand your rights. Ultimately, as long as you are denied boarding under no fault of your own, you should be able to file for compensation. Just make sure you didn't accidentally waive your rights by accepting additional compensation from the airlines. US Flights the U.S. claims for involuntarily denied boarding due to overbooking are more complicated than EC-261. How much you'll receive depends on how long your delay is and if you are flying internationally or domestically. If you're flying domestically and your flight is delayed between 1 to 2 hours, you are eligible for 200% of the one-way fare to your destination, not to exceed $675. 2 plus hours, you are eligible for 400% of the one-way fare to your destination, not to exceed $1,000. $350. If you are flying internationally and your flight is delayed between 1 to 2 hours, you are eligible for 200% of the one-way fare to your destination, not to exceed $675. 2 to 4 hours, you are eligible for 200% of the one-way fare to your destination, not to exceed $675. 4 plus hours, you are eligible for 400% of the one-way fare to your destination, not to exceed $1,350. EU flights. Once you understand if your flight is eligible, now you want to know how much you are eligible to claim. That's natural. So the two things you want to keep in mind are if your flight was within the EU and how far you were planning on traveling. Now that you have that in mind, here's what you could be eligible for if you are involuntarily denied boarding due to overbooking under EC-261. If your flight is within the EU and more than 1,500 kilometers, you can receive 400 euros. If your flight is not within the EU and is between 1,500 and 3,000 kilometers, you can receive 400 euros. If your flight is not within the EU and is more than 3,500 kilometers, you can receive 600 euros. If your flight is less than 1,500 kilometers, you can receive 250 euros. When can I get compensation? Unlike other issues where you have to file a claim and wait to see if they will accept it if you are denied boarding, you can receive your compensation immediately. As soon as you're denied boarding, the airline can issue compensation for your inconvenience. The airlines are required to provide cash compensation upon request. They may not offer it as an option, but as long as you understand your rights, you know that you can ask for it. What to do if you're denied boarding? If you're denied boarding as hard as it may be, try to stay calm and keep the following steps in mind to help you claim the compensation you deserve. Gather your evidence, keep your boarding passes, travel documents, communication from their airline, pictures of the flight board, and more. The more you have, the better. Ask why you're being denied boarding and ask for the reason in writing. Overbooking can also be called being bumped from a flight. Stay calm and ask for a new flight. Try not to get upset with the airport personnel. They didn't overbook the flight and you catch more flies with honey. They will be more likely to work with you if you are kind. Request compensation for your denied boarding after the new reservation is complete. Under EC-261, they should pay you out at the airport without delay. Overbooking eligibility. Overbooking is one of the spots that doesn't have a lot of gray areas in most flight compensation laws. If you purchased a ticket and received confirmation, you should be able to get on your flight. You may be eligible for compensation if you are the victim of overbooking if you meet the following criteria. You have not already received compensation from their airline as a result of this overbooking and it has occurred at least in the last three years though some countries have stricter rules. Your flight took place in the European Union or eligible airspace. This can include taking off from both EU and non-EU-based aircraft or if you landed in the EU on an EU-based aircraft. 
You are not denied boarding for something in your control, like being late, improper documentation, behavioral issues, or more. It has to be involuntary, meaning out of your control, for the denied boarding to qualify. How to file a claim. It's great if you received your compensation at the airport, but you can always check if you are eligible for additional compensation. You can do this yourself by filing a claim directly with the airline or working with a specialized company to advocate for you. If you file yourself, you'll need to gather your documentation and work directly with the airline. They will review your claim and let you know if they accept it or not. Be warned that airlines don't want to pay out, so they may deny your claim. You can file an appeal and submit additional documentation if needed. If you make yourself a nuisance, they may settle. You can also work with specialized companies. To work with one, you simply visit their website and fill out a few simple questions. Submit your qualifying documentation and wait. If they accept your case, they believe that they will win. Most companies do not get paid unless you win as they take their fee off the top of your payout. Conclusion Overbooking can be a huge headache, but you can get compensation for your troubles. File a claim at the airport with their airline immediately or after the face. Many airlines face steep consequences for overbooking, so they do what they can to avoid taking responsibility. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to know more about overbooked flight compensation, check the link in the description box below. That will take you to the euflightcompensation.com's webpage, where we have discussed this topic in more detail. Do you have any comments or questions? Make sure to drop them below and like this video if you found it useful. Till next time, thanks for watching.